Tin Star is a rail shooter type, video game software developed by Software Creations and published by Nintendo for the Super NES. It was released on November, 1994, only in North America. Gameplay Tin Star was designed to be compatible not only with a standard Super NES controller, but also with the Super Scope and the SNES mouse. The gameplay contains levels titled as Days. Each day is filled with four types of screens called Scenes. Scenes <laughs> 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 Training – Each day begins with a training session. Players can practice their gun slinging and try to rack up as much money as possible. Players can also test their aim by shooting the jugs on the screen. A jug will twirl up into the air when shot. As the jug comes down, players must shoot it again to «juggle» it and rack up loads of cash. A jug will break if it hits the bottom of the screen. The color of the jug also changes and will break when it becomes red for a while. Action – In this type of scene, players must fight their way through such scenes as a cattle stampede, a train, a bank robbery, a barroom brawl, a jail break, etc., while shooting the members of the bad oil gang as they appear on the screen. If players let them stay on the screen too long, they will shoot Tin Star. Some action screens are first-person viewed, while some are third-person viewed. Players can shoot canteens to restore health. Some targets can be shot for extra money. Some of the action screens will also have a boss at the end. Showdown – At the end of each day, players usually have to face one member of the Bad Oil Gang in an old-fashioned quick-draw gunfight. As players face down their adversary, they must watch for the «draw» icon, which is shaped like the cylinder of a revolver, to appear. Players must quickly shoot the icon, and then shoot the opponent as fast as possible. Speed and accuracy are the most important in this scene. Bonus screens – To access these, players should not shoot a single canteen. The bonus screen shows a woman spinning around on a round board with stars next to her body. Shooting the stars without missing and without accidentally shooting the woman will help players pick up large amounts of money. Bonus screens cannot be accessed after completing each showdown screen. Plot <laughs> <laughs> The game is set in a place called the Old West, populated by robots. The main protagonist is the titular character, a mechanical sheriff named Tin Star, who has a sidekick named Mo Crash. In the beginning, Tin Star and Mo ride on a stagecoach to a town called East Driftwood to stop the Bad Oil Gang and their leader, Black Bart, from committing crimes. While riding on a stagecoach, a member of the Bad Oil Gang wearing spring shoes, by name of Joe Twiddly, sees them inside of the stagecoach and tries to attack them along with his gang, but Tin Star defeats them, and the stagecoach makes it to East Driftwood more or less intact. Upon their arrival, the story begins when Tin Star tries to help the old lady carry her bags, she objects, shoves him and he accidentally steps on Tiny Johnson's award-winning geranium, setting in motion a vicious circle of vengeance and escalating confrontations with the local outlaws. Characters Tin Star, the protagonist of the game he loves to shoot and has no limit of bullets when it comes to his favorite pastime. He only takes his hat off on Sundays and has a book titled The Code of Good Guy Rules, which tells heroes to never shoot women and children. When tired, Tin Star usually sleeps or takes coffee breaks. Aluminum – Tin Star's trusty steed. He is always ready when Tin Star calls him. This horse can outrun stampedes. Mo Crash – Tin Star's faithful sidekick and right-hand man. Mo often helps Tin Star when he needs to be steered in the right direction. His brother is Shem, and the two of them have been feuding ever since an extortion incident when they were second graders. Mo and Shemp's names share similarities to Mo and Shemp Howard of the Three Stooges, but in-game during the cutscenes, the brothers share a similar trait to the Smothers brothers in references of favoritism by their mother. Judge Soy Bean, the dignified mayor of East Driftwood. He is eloquent and always ready to give a speech. He has been trying to get the train to make stops at East Driftwood for a long time. He is the proud father of Maria, the belle of the town. 
The character's name is wordplay of Judge Roy Bean. Maria Bean, the virtuous daughter of Judge Soy Bean. She is in love with Tin Star, but he is much too busy dealing with outlaws to have time with her. No matter what trouble may befall Tin Star, Maria will stand by him because she knows, "...only a good guy could have a chin like Tin Star's." Undertaker, the town Undertaker always has his tape measure handy. He's prepared for any incidents that might take place in and around East Driftwood. He'll be checking measurements after each player's run-ins with the Bad Oil Gang. He is only seen at the end of each stage, where he'll let players know how they did in each of their battles by awarding points. He also checks the damage they did in the town and other areas, bullets wasted, and or civilians shot, and charges them accordingly. Tiny Johnson, the first of the Johnson brothers that Tin Star faces. The trouble all started with Tiny's prize geranium getting accidentally flattened by Tin Star. He is not very quick on the draw, but he is very accurate. Bugsy J, the second Johnson brother. As with many brothers, he tries to keep an eye on his younger siblings. He's out to take care of Tin Star for Tiny. Bugsy is an average gunfighter, but he likes to cheat. Lucky J, another Johnson brother that challenges Tin Star to a showdown. Lucky wants to average his two brothers and Tiny's geranium. Most of his reputation is based on his good luck instead of skill. The Kid Johnson, the last Johnson brother faced by Tin Star. It is impossible for Tin Star to shoot him, because according to the Code of Good Guy rules, heroes should never shoot women and children, the latter of which the Kid Johnson is. The player then decides whether or not they should shoot. The Blousy Brothers, members of Black Bart's gang who appear in Thursday stage of the game who tries to circumvent the Code of Good Guy rules, which tells heroes to never shoot women and children by cross dressing as women. Fortunately, Tin Star finds a loophole. Snake Oil, another member of the Black Oil Gang that is not happy about what Tin Star did to Tiny's geranium. Snake Oil is a tough talker and a real quick draw, but he's not very accurate. Crude Oil, one of Black Bart's best gunfighters. In order for players to beat Crude Oil, they must have fast reflexes and pinpoint accuracy. Shem Crash, Moe's big brother, and Black Bart's main henchman. Shem says that he is the favorite of Moe Crash, but Moe is always ready to challenge that claim. Shem and Moe never get tired of trying to insult and outdo each other. Black Bart, the leader of the Bad Oil Gang, as well as the main antagonist of the game. He tries anything to keep control of East Driftwood. Black Bart is not known for his good manners nor his hygiene. His gang has a tough time just hanging out with him sometimes, especially when they are downwind. Black Bart likes to have members of the gang fight his battles for him, though he is one of the fastest guns in the Old West. Reception GamePro's review stated, Lighthearted in design, Tin Star's colorful, sharp graphics make watching this wacky western enjoyable. Quote, However, they further commented that the jokes and gameplay both become repetitive after a short while, and concluded that the game would be better suited to novice gamers. <laughs>